Welcome back, guys, to Mass Effect 3, as we finally start Priority Earth, and the final battle can be fought. Between episodes, I did a lot of multiplayer grinding, as you can see, our readiness rating is all the way up to 100%. We have access to all our effective military strength, which is 7,639, which still gives our chance of success even. So we didn't change much there, but hopefully it will change happenings, I don't know. The stronger we are, surely the better we'll fare. So it's time to head to Earth at last. Commander. Commander. Private Campbell. Okay, let's go through. Meet our fate. You've got new messages, Commander. Now we have new messages, first of all, strangely enough. Normal is the best revenge, from Diana Allers. Okay, Commander, I don't know if you're aware how much you mean to people, but I am. The things I see in Battle Spaces Melwax could make a geth grow tear ducts. Page after page of people asking you to go save their mother's planet, or the homeworld they outgrew, or the mining colony they sank their fortunes into. They don't know that you can't do it all, they just know Commander Shepard beat a reaper once and can do it again. I know how they feel. When I heard about Beckenstein, it was like all the nerves in my body were cut, but I need to believe that this isn't the end. I need to believe that you're going to destroy the reapers and I'm going to film it as it happens. And when the fight is over and my signal goes out on tight beam, people are going to come together from all over the galaxy, they're going to watch from their couches and they'll celebrate, and one day, they'll laugh again. The laughing part is important. I want you to make it all normal again, Shepard, because that's the best revenge I can think of. Diana. P.S. If I end up making it out of this, but you don't, I'll make sure you get a hero's funeral at Beckenstein Wake. That's like an Irish wake, but not a sober and reserved. Well, let's hope that isn't our fate. As we step out into the galaxy. Is the soul system the only one we can visit at this point in time? Well, thank God we had enough fuel to get back. You'd have thought we'd have at least nicked some fuel from Kronos Station, wouldn't you? We'll nick some fuel from there. Head through the mass relay. Whoa, is it my imagination or is... Oh, wait a second. Every system's taken up by Reapers to the point where we can't actually visit them anymore? Oh no, they're not taken up, they're just completely denied access. So the only place we can go is to order fleets to Earth. Commander, you've got a priority message from Admiral Hackett requesting to come aboard. Permission granted. Aye, Commander. Commander? Admiral? Are you ready to bring the might of the galaxy to bear on the Reapers? Yes, sir. Then let's make sure the fleets are ready. All fleets reporting in, sir. Never before have so many come together from all quarters of the galaxy. But never before have we faced an enemy such as this. The Reapers will show us no mercy. We must give them no quarter. They will terrorize our populations. We must stand fast in the face of that terror. They will advance until our last city falls. But we will not fall. We will prevail. Each of us will be defined by our actions in the coming battle. Stand fast. Stand strong. Stand together. Hack it out. Shepard, the sword fleets are ready to strike at the Reapers surrounding Earth. While they keep the enemy engaged, you and Hammer Ground Forces can take London. London? Why aren't we hitting the Citadel directly? Anderson can brief you on that. Admiral, how are you holding up? We are ready to end this. But as you can see, the station's closed itself since it appeared over London. Damn it. 
Gotta get the arms open to dock the Crucible. Exactly. But London is surrounded by Hades cannons. Hammer transports can't land while they're active. You lead a squadron of smaller shuttles. Infiltrate with a ground team to take out the cannons using heavy weapons. Hammer can land, and we'll set up a forward operation space. I still don't see how we're getting to the Citadel from London. The Reapers use this beam to transport humans alive and dead to the Citadel. From the FOB, Hammer will launch an all-out assault on the Citadel beam. Everyone who makes it that far will take the beam to the Citadel, then locate and activate the Citadel arm controls. Once we see those arms, Shield Fleet will escort the Crucible to the Citadel. But timing will be critical. We don't have enough firepower to keep the Crucible safe for long. Nothing's ever easy. No reason it should start now. It's desperate. I don't even want to guess at our odds. But... But this is the only plan we have. If we wait, the Reapers bleed us slowly. Conventionally, we can't defeat the Reapers without the Crucible. Get the Citadel arms open. Commander, whatever the cost, we'll do the rest. Yes, sir. Good luck to all of us. And so it begins. One final mission back on Earth. In London, of all places. And who shall we take? For those that I used to take down a Reaper before. Garrison Tully, the human Reaper extermination squad. Let's go. One last chance to equip ourselves, though we should be fine for that. And of course we've got 19 points to spend, so let's spend them for the hell of it, hey? Hacks and Fedex find your side move faster and do 100% more damage. We'll take that, not that we've used it at all. We'll cry ammo as well. We'll take everything we can from that. Not that we've used it. Seems we can only go up a certain amount of points here. Increase freeze duration by 40%. Squad mates gain cryo ammo, whatever. Actually, it would have been that one would have been good, actually. I'm not sure if I had to... Let's undo that one. I have undid all the upgrades. That's terrible. And do I need to put on the cryo ammo myself? Or can it be activated for someone else? Because that's interesting. We'll go a different way around this time. We'll not leave that a maximum. We'll go five and five. The other guys, however, they end up with the same amount no matter what. So we just add another point onto those. And I wonder if the others gain frozen ammo now. That'd be interesting, but we'll find out later when we get down there. Because Tali does not have an ammo power of her own. So if she gets it from me having it, at the very least, not using it, that could be good. Approaching Sol Relay, Commander. We're through the relay in 30 seconds. Sorry, fleet's reporting. Warrior fleets have counted for and ready. Death fleet reporting. All fleets reporting in, Commander. Ready to engage on your command. Engage the re- 
Roger that. All fighters on me. Commander. Be careful down there. We'll be fine. Stay focused. Aye, aye. Teams are away. Hammer's in position and waiting for you guys to clear a path. Normandy's rejoining Sword. Stay safe. I'll be back before you know it. I'll hold you to that. Normandy out. We're closing in on the LZ, Commander. How's it look? Like hell. Take a look for yourself. Sorry, Shepard. I know it isn't easy. I barely even recognize it. Shit! Shit. We got a lock. Hold on! Damn it! Status. That was the squad responsible for taking out that defense turret. Who's on it now? Nobody in the vicinity. All either deployed or shot down. Drop us off. Ma'am? We have to take that thing out before Hammer can land. Understood. Change of plans, people. We're gonna take out that Hades cannon. On foot? That'll be a challenge. That down shuttle would have been carrying heavy weapons. Perfect. You heard the man. Once we're clear, make your way to the crashed shuttle. We'll search the wreckage for heavy weapons. With you, Shepard. Now! Go! Go! Well, I took a fair few hits just even getting down there then. I can't stay here, man. Get clear. Come get us once we've taken that turret out. Gotcha. Let's get my ammo powers up. It seems that people only gain that if I use it myself by the look of it. Alright everyone, let's move! And getting up that incline is going to be nasty though. Especially with all the shaking going on. He just shrugged off that hit like it was nothing. How can you fight in this condition? Oh, 
We should be able to advance a bit more now. Right, we're getting somewhere at last. Ah, oh, come on! Trying our best, honestly. Watch it, you got brutes. That we do. Don't know if I can hit him through that. We definitely had brutes approaching from the side, however. Man, it's not fun being a sniper guy in this condition. And that's unfair in itself, the fact that you could shoot through, but I don't seem to be able to. Where's that brute? Aha! Not really advancing at all at the moment. Taking these shots while that shaking's going on is just hard. <laughs> Getting somewhere at least. Two guns down, but we still can't land. At least we got Tali up, the cannibals are coming in. Oh, missed completely with that. Headshot, sort him out. All these cannibals appear to be the buff type. They don't take much in the way of damage most of the time. Right then, where's the down shuttle we're after is the question I have. Way up high. Okay then. Come on, I... They don't end up dying now when you've decided to move on. Which way are we going exactly though? Let's see if I can move up this part of the wreckage. Even though I can move up that part. How do I get to the shuttle wreckage? From inside? Doesn't seem to be a lift or another pathway up. If anything, I'd have to bet it was that ramp I was taking. I didn't seem to be any climb prompts going on. Or any way round that I can see from here. Seems that that's mostly blocked off. We're going up. It's just how's the question. You sure? But I won't be picking you up. I gotta land this bird quick. Get safe. Anything for you. I snow Cortez. Keep yourself alive. Don't shrug off my sniper shots. The vibration's getting even worse now. There's 
the shuttle. Keep an eye out for their heavy weapon supplies. The most deadly target had to go first there. Man, they've converted a lot of Turians. It doesn't appear like my headshots are doing the damage they used to. You got it. Works combined with Garrus, though. Right then. Is that every normal enemy taken out? Just shoot and hit. That's it. Last gun down. All hammer teams, prepare for landing. Finally. Right, that's done. I was wondering where the explosion was for a second there. I thought I'd missed. Anybody, come in. We need extraction. Heads up, we got company. Oh! This is Commander Shepard. Any Alliance personnel in the vicinity? A nasty cannibal coming up and meleeing me there was the worst thing. Where's the banshee gone? Get fighting ASAP. I'm trying to just pepper these guys with as much incinerates as possible because I know that even with their armor buff on, it cuts through it. You like me some extraction, that's for sure. Get us out of here, Corporal. You okay? I'm alive. That you are, Commander. Admiral. I knew you wouldn't let me down, Shepard. It's good to see you. And you're a sight for sore eyes. How are we looking? Now that the heavy air defenses are dealt with, Hammer can land. And not a moment too soon. What's left of the Resistance is holding a forward operating base. But the Reapers are countering already. Once we regroup, it's going to be up to Hammer to take up the fight. It must have been brutal here. Cut off from the rest of the Alliance. It's been touch and go from day one. But once we figured out the Reapers were focusing on the major centers, it became easier to avoid direct contact. Until London. Yeah. We held back as long as we could. Sending in recon teams. Lost a lot of good men planning this attack. But with soldiers like Major Coates, and knowing you'd bring us help, we held on. Without you and your resistance, we'd be dead in the water. Yeah, the Admiral's being modest. He's the reason any of us are still alive. Let's not start handing out medals just yet. This fight's just getting started. And Hammer better be ready for it. They didn't start out together, but they're ready to stand side by side and win this war. Good. That's what it's gonna take. We'll get it done, Anderson. I was born in London. Really? 
The entire galaxy united. Too bad it took the Reapers to bring us together. Shepard's the one that brought them together. That's exactly what I meant. I know you didn't like leaving, Shepard. But nobody could have accomplished what you've done. It's good to be back home. There's the FOB. Looks good. Give Hammer the all clear. set up a command center in the building over there. Looks like we've still got groups coming in. Yes, sir, but not as many as we'd hoped. Hmm. Come see me when you're ready, Shepard. Will do. He's right. I expected to see more of Hammer here by now. A lot of them won't be making it. You two go on ahead. I'll catch up. The fighting here's been some of the worst on the planet. It looks bad, but there's still hope. And you're here. It'll do the troops good to see you. Bolster their resolve. I'm just a soldier like them. You might see yourself like that, but they don't. Like it or not, Commander, you're a hero to these men and women. Don't discount the effect that can have on them. I better go meet up with my battalion. I'll see you at the command center. So with battle raging all around us, Hammer trying to land, but it seems being cut short as we as they try. My God, the amount of forces here, the general strength of them must mean that barely anyone's going to make it here. Hopefully, we get some Krogans to the front line because that's what we really need—some real proper shock troops. But I'm going to leave it here for this episode. Tune in next time for more of Invasion Earth. Bye bye.